Hey everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day you're watching today. Sasha here. It's Saturday and it's also day four in the month of hot tea celebration, y'all. So, today, um, the weather has been kind of groggy and crappy, so... You know, perfect time to just stay in for the day and um, work on cleaning up and getting ready for the new week coming, right? But, like I said before, this is the celebration of Hot Tea Month. And, you know, for this weekend, kicking off this weekend, y'all... I'm going to bring in a tea that I was first introduced to when I first went to Starbucks. And it is Tazo's Tea, pretty much. Not this particular brand. This brand is, or this variety rather, is Refresh Mint. And folks, let me tell you something. I, yesterday, I, for my meal of the day... I went crazy. I went to Little Caesars. I love Little Caesars pizza, by the way. And I got a thin crust pizza, crazy bread, crazy sauce, oven roasted wings. So that was me and my mother's dinner. We had half the pizza. And um, I had... The half of my oven roasted wings and half of the crazy bread and a little bit of the crazy sauce. I don't think it was half of that little container, but and then I had a side salad. And yeah, even though I took my lactose pills, y'all, I'm still kind of reeling from the aftermath of the meal. So with Refresh mint. Did you know that mint is actually helpful for an unsettling stomach? There's also aloe and ginger, but definitely mint is a go to. It's caffeine free, and a lot of people do like the taste of mint. I was like a junior in high school. That was my first time trying Starbucks, and the chai tea latte knocked my socks off. So, Tazo, yeah, they pretty much had their mainstay in Starbucks, but they have, um, like I said, this is the bag tea, they have loose tea, they have the concentrates, they have um, K-cups, so they do it all, y'all. And Tazo is actually um, a lot more widespread in the market place like you can find them at walmart target probably your local grocery store starbucks um shucks y'all where else but you could you're, you're more likely to find this is just as widespread as big low as lipton so refresh mint let's see here it's a herbal tea of course and the description reads as follows. It's an invigorating herbal infusion of peppermint and spearmint dressed up with a pinch of tarragon. It's caffeine free. So yeah, y'all, I, because of my, how my stomach feels right now, I'm trying to ixnay off the caffeine. It's pretty much uh, late in the morning and, you know, I'm up, up. So I don't really need the boost of caffeine. Plus it is, um, the weekend, so I'm not really worried about too much, just some chores and simple, like a simple, um, to-do list. I'm about to say honey-do, but there's no honey. <laughs> um, all right, so how in the world, because they have descriptions on everything. Oh, like I said, these come individually wrapped, which is nice. They have the instructions clear as day and exact water temp instead of the description like boiling, just short of boiling. Um, I don't know what other descriptions they could use, but they use 212 degrees Fahrenheit, which that's why I like Tazo. 
Um, I guess let's go from right to left. <laughs> so, refreshment. The rich flavor of the peppermint and the intensity of the spearmint. Jump, skip, and roll down grassy hills while the warm hint of sweet tarragon wonders what all the rush is about. Okay, a little nice poetry. <laughs> all right, so it says... Deep and begin a journey that spans continents and centuries on speed of sound steam trains. Sip the sun, rain, and fog of the morning. These delicate botanicals were picked. Okay. Explore lemongrass lawns, carpets of chamomile, and the, his and the living history of your ancestors. Taste with all your senses, but most of all with your imagination. Each cup is a story unfolding with every sip. Steep yourself in knowledge at Tazo.com. For best brewing, 212 degrees Fahrenheit, bring fresh filtered water to a boil, 8 fluid ounces, pour water over the filter bag in your cup, 5 minutes, let it steep, wait patiently for perfection. Um, ingredients are peppermint, spearmint, and tarragon. So, how did I make my tea? Um, I did heat the water and let it boil um, 212 Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius. I used, um, I think, 12 fluid ounces because I did two tea bags, y'all. I like my strong tea now. So, I did two tea bags for 12 ounces of water. And then I did let it steep for five minutes on the dot. So... Concise, clear, um, anything else? What what could a tea snob? <laughs> what else could a tea snob want? So here is the tea. Cup is still nuclear. <laughs> so hopefully the liquid isn't too bad. Unfortunately, I used the wrong tea uh, mug, so you can't really see the liquid properly. But I'm. Fairly certain it's like a amberish sort of um, liquid, amberish sort of hue. So here we go, folks. This is Tazo's Refresh Mint. Hi, right, cheers, y'all. I just love it. You know, even though it's like a juxtaposition with a hot liquid and a cooling sensation, like what? You know, but yeah, that's what I get with this. Definitely taste peppermint. I don't know what to taste for with tarragon because I haven't had it. But um, really the peppermint comes out more of any, if anything. Oh, I can feel feel it settling my stomach that's what i need that's what i want and need folks so yeah i i don't think i'm gonna sweeten this because like i said my stomach is on the fritz and right now i just want the nice um tea on its own i will say as an after as an aftertaste as i'm talking to you all I, I, I'm getting still the cooling sensation, but I think it's more of the spearmint now. So it's verdict time. In the case of Tazo's Refresh Mint Herbal Tea, out of my rating scale of good, okay, bad, I would rate this a good. It's a good. Um, I would probably like to taste um a bit more of both i got more peppermint as i sip the liquid but you know as an aftertaste the spearmint comes out more spearmint's kind of uh, milder than peppermint and also it could be like the balance of peppermint spearmint and the tarragon i don't know what to look out for um, in terms of my taste buds, like, I've never really tasted tarragon, but it really just tastes like peppermint tea. And, um, 
this is still very refreshing. I can probably see myself like it soaking the tea bags for uh what do I want to say y'all? I want to soak the tea bags in cold water, you know, do a cold brew of this tea for summertime. I think it'll go off swimmingly and um you know, you don't have to worry about fixing it over a stove with cold brewing, but like, if I wanted peppermint-infused water, well, this is my best bet. Um, yeah, if I were, would I try it sweetened? Um, yeah, of course. But, I mean, right now, with the circumstances that are present, no, I just wanted to have some, some hot tea that could settle settle me and this one does its job so definitely commend it on that and folks with that that's gonna do it for day four of the month of hot tea celebration so yeah this one's another short and sweet one um i'm really kind of pressed for time so i have to Get dressed, get ready. Hopefully it's not raining by the time I'm ready to walk out the door. But I got some errands to run as well. And clean up. And adulting. Which, you know, it's got to be done. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed watching this episode as much as I enjoyed making this episode. Really appreciate you all stopping by. Any questions, comments, suggestions, or small talk, don't be a stranger. Leave it in the comment section below. And any and all are welcome. Greatly appreciated. Um, like I said, I love it when you all stop by, drop me a comment, and let me know, you know, what's your opinion on this tea, or if you have a certain like for a tea. Uh, really, I mean, I, I, I'm behind the eight ball on commenting, and, you know, I want to fix that, especially before Monday. But, um, yeah, y'all, I mean, it really warms my heart to see that, you know, there are some folks out there that like tea and want to, um, you know, just talk tea and talk drinks and all that good stuff. So, yeah, folks, I'm going to go ahead, leave you all be. That's it for this episode. So, folks, take care, take it easy, make it a great day today and every day. Um, hopefully the weather is not as cruddy as it is for me, because it's supposed to rain pretty much all day today, and um, it gets better tomorrow, thankfully, but yeah, today is like, eh, it's a, I want to stay in, but I just remember, no, I have to go... Um, run this air really quick before the office closes so yeah enjoy your weekend folks um take care again this is sasha signing off wishing you happy new year again this is pretty much the first uh week of the new year is down y'all and it's crazy but you know it is what it is, and like I said, 2020, I had a personal little rocky start. There have been some upsets already, which is crazy, in this year, but I still feel as though this year, this decade, right now is going to be a great year. So, folks, take care. Thank you again for watching. I can never thank you enough. And until next video, folks, I will see you then. So, bye now.